Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video and today I'm switching things up and talking about my new favorite show, Queens, y'all. Let me tell you about how I've been hooked on the music, the drama, and how these queens have been giving me life. Now before we get started sipping this tea, go ahead and like this video, click that subscribe button, and you already know you want to hit that bell button so you officially join me and my binge watchers and are first to get updates about binge worthy videos like this. Queens tells a story about four women who are all washed up, all in their 40s, and are all looking for a chance to reinvent themselves. Wait, now I know it feels like I just read them down, but... Stay with me, y'all. They all reunite for a chance to recapture their fame and regain the swagger they had as legends in their 1990s girl group, Nasty B where they were at the top of their game and dominating the hip-hop world. Now, I know that that group name is a bit corny, but y'all already know that if we could rewind back to the 90s, this group name would actually be a hit. When I found out about this cast, I was like, okay, ABC, y'all really out here understanding the assignment and turning in extra credit work. Queens has four legendary music icons, Eve, Brandy, and Notori Naughton, all as main characters on this show, making this girl group so believable and instantly legendary. There's also a fourth group member played by Nadine Velasquez, and I know that I wasn't the only one looking at this girl, giving her the side eye, like, sis, what songs did you sing or rap in the 90s? But it really didn't take me long before I was able to understand exactly why she was the perfect fit for this group and how together they all really make up such an amazing cast. And ever since Queens made its premiere on ABC back in October, each and every episode has gotten me more obsessed with this show. And they have hit us with a plot twist, and then another plot twist, and a plot twist after that, making this new show Queens easily one of my newest binge-worthy obsessions. And that's why I am so excited today to announce that I have partnered with Hulu to create a new weekly recap series that I am calling Queens Talk where I will be watching all new episodes of Queens and taking a deep dive into the most binge-worthy moments here on my channel each week. Y'all, I have been using Hulu to watch my favorite tea show <laughs> to watch my favorite TV shows since they first started. And that's why I'm so excited to really get to work with Hulu to make this new series possible. Even though I'd love to just jump right into what happened on the latest episode of Queens, I know that there are still so many of you guys who still need to be put up on game, so I'm gonna tell you guys everything you need to know about Queens in just a couple of minutes. Eve's character, Brianna, aka Professor Sex, is a stay-at-home mom of five married to a college professor. Now, for me, this was shocking because when I think about female rappers, I just expect to see, like, <laughs> I expect to see them rapping for years to come, and I never, like, stop and imagine them as housewives. But I was even more shook when I learned that her seemingly perfect husband had actually cheated on her with one of his students. What are you wearing? I am like genuinely sorry. Oh, white girl. I'm one eight Peruvian. What this for you? Yeah, the show definitely gets so messy, but they've done a really good job finding a way to make us laugh in the middle of all this craziness. If I may. No. I think you look fantastic. Really? Yes, stunning. There's nothing more attractive than mature beauty. Now, Naturi's character, Jill, aka Jill the Thrill, is off the chain. I am one of those people who definitely judge Jill wrong because my good sis has become a completely different person from the girl that we met in the first episode. Jill was introduced as an uppity church girl who we could have never imagined being in a girl group named Nasty Bees in the first place. But eventually, we learned that Jill was going through it caught up in a loveless marriage, all while hiding her truth about being into women the whole time. And although she is definitely on the path right now to living her best life, Naturi's character Jill has really hurt a lot of people along the way. Finally telling you the truth. T, no shut up. It's time for you to listen. I'm worried about you. 
another lie. Nadine's character, Valeria, aka Butter Pecan, was really the only group member that was still in the industry and was, I guess, considered to be still in the limelight in current time when we first got introduced to the characters. And she refused to entertain the idea of rejoining this girl group because she felt like it was beneath her. Time. What do you want? How about we get the band back together? Why the hell would I do that? You know what we did. But when her job threw her under the bus, that humbled her real quick and had her come running back to the nasty bees with her tail between her leg. And honestly, she's been one of the most relatable characters ever since. Brandy's character, Naomi, AKA Explicit Lyrics, used to be the most talented person in the group. However, in the first episode, we learned that Naomi is a Debbie mother who never quit chasing the fame and most of us were pretty shocked to see how it seemed like it was costing her everything. Even still, we cannot deny her talent. Which brings me to one of my favorite parts of this show, the music. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. Yes, Queens is definitely coming through with top tier music, a top tier cast, and top tier storylines. And speaking of storylines, one of the biggest scandals of the season involved this crazy shooting that viewers have known about through flashbacks and clues since we first started watching the first episode. And they got us wondering each week, uh, ex you know, who shot who and why? I feel like they did that thing that you know how they be doing with some TV shows where they purposely try to keep us all confused and they gaslight us so that when we finally find out who actually did that thing that we've been like expecting, we're all shook. God's plan, Joe. God's plan. He did it, he shot Bree. It was all my fault. I had the suspect, he's alive but unconscious. He needs medical attention. It was all my fault. It's not your fault. Yeah. I definitely did not see that coming at all, but I already feel like I've said too much. I've said too much because I can't be telling y'all everything because I need y'all to go ahead and add Queens to your watch list on Hulu right now and get caught up on episodes one through nine ASAP. Because in episode 10, we're finally getting into the aftermath of the shooting and how it literally changes everything for all our queens. She can't die. She can't die. She can't. I really think that shows like Queens really deserve to exist and I'm so excited to see people of color taking on huge roles and playing dynamic characters that everyone can relate to and appreciate on major networks. I've already said before that I think these storylines are top tier, the vibes have been there, and the music has been amazing. Love is a marvelous crime and I'm happy to sing. Look at life in the eyes of God and imagine it's him. Walk on the clouds, jump over the moon, you be a star. So proud of my creation, how beautiful you are. If the earth shifts, know it's just your first kick in me. And tears in my eyes is the joy that it gives me. Your heartbeat is like the first verse that I wrote, the birth of a goat. I look at you for purpose and hope. And if you're a 90s baby like me, you already know that EVE starred in her own sitcom back in the day and so did Brandy. So having these two together in the same universe definitely feels very, very special and quite nostalgic. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about my new favorite show. 
All new episodes of Queens premiere Tuesday nights on ABC and are available to stream the very next day on Hulu. Hey, hands in the air now! Hands in the air now! I'll be watching each week for the rest of the season, and I'll be recapping all new episodes right here on Queen's Talk. And I would love for my binge watchers to join me for this ride. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see y'all queens on the next one.